The actress, Alyssa, we're going to talk about your projects, but I'm dying to hear what you think of this. Oh, you know, nothing surprises me anymore in <laughs> politics. You know, I, I think that he could probably win from what I hear, so... God bless America. God bless America. <laughs> now, you, right. you grew up in New York, Staten Island, uh, but you now are registered to vote in, in California, LA. I guess. Yes. Right? Okay. All right. So but I'm so I'm so disenchanted by the whole political process. I can't really? even tell you. Yeah. yeah. A lot and of it's funny because I was very politically active before I had my son, and then once I had my son, I realized like that is the world that I need to try to mold and focus on for now, and and you know hopefully by the time he's of voting age things will sort of settle down and and it will be a process that i can be proud to uh, encourage him to be a part of hmm. we get it we yes, get it Alyssa. We well, congratulations on the new show mistresses you are great in it thank tell us you. about it for those who haven't seen it yet thank you yeah well it's really about four very good friends that help each other through navigating mm -hmm. uh, you know the difficulties in life um, it's a lot more than the title would convey um, and I'm very proud of it I think it's really good and people are, are so addicted to it and it makes me so happy because when we were filming I just couldn't wait to read the next script which I'd never had before but there's so many twists and turns and yeah so it's pretty exciting I'm very very proud of it you can see it tonight on channel on another channel by the way <laughs> yeah. ABC at 10 o'clock uh, do we have a clip featuring Alyssa Milano in the new show I certainly hope so hit it sorry I'm sorry, I know this isn't the place to do this, but I had to see you. Do you think that you're going to be coming home? I'm not going into work today, so I'm just... You remember the birthday party of 25 is tonight, right? I completely forgot. Patrick's working on the new fixed menu right now. Oh, hey. Hi. We're kind of in the middle of a conversation right now, so... We can talk about it later. Thanks. Okay, I don't know the backstory there. Something's going on. Looks interesting. <laughs> I'm going to definitely put this on my list. Seriously, Mistresses please, to watch. Please, I think you'll like it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, Alyssa Milano, you are one of the rare Hollywood creatures, I think. I think, according to what I've seen, made the successful transition from child star to adult star. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely hard work and took a lot of uh, uh, tenacity, but I think that, you know, the most important thing was that I had an amazing family who instilled things in me besides just the business, you know, that I wasn't just an actress as a child, but also a sister and a daughter and, you know, a productive part of society. Yeah. And they really emphasized what was important in life. So I grew up in this business thinking that if it were to go away, that I would have always, you know, my family and, and my brain to, to fall back on. Well, you had a strong family, and also I think part of the reason for your success, I mean, your looks enhanced <laughs> from those. That doesn't happen all the time for kids, you know what I mean? Well, I, I don't know about any of that. All I know is I worked very hard on the inside to be, um, to, to, you know, make the transition into just being an adult. Okay, last thing for me, because you haven't ignored the outside, too. <laughs> have you seen the cover of Maxim Magazine? Is this this month's? Check this it out. It is, July. You look extraordinary. Gorgeous. And uh, you, you are... Yeah, you're kind of clothed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm covered. Let me ask you something. You were the childhood crush for so many men across America. I was just reading an article where Channing Tatum said you were it for him. Is it weird oh, when you hear now yeah, how many well, men Well, when it's you? Channing Tatum, it's very <laughs> odd. <laughs> but uh, my husband was so cute. He tweeted out after Channing said that. He t my husband tweeted out, I just did a sit-up and signed up for a dance class. <laughs> Yeah. Which is adorable. Back <laughs> off, <so> Channing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But yeah, it's, you know, I, I, I try to ignore it as much as humanly possible because it just kind of freaks me out a little and makes me giddy. <laughs> I, we understand. That would be kind of weird. Yeah. Actually, we don't understand. We can only imagine. Uh, by the way, you, in addition to the acting, I understand you've gone into the uh, wardrobe business, clothing business. What? Yes. Yeah, I have a clothing line called Touch that's all female fan apparel, and we have the licensing to all the leagues. So NFL, MLB, NBA, NHL. NHL college and we just got NASCAR which is really super exciting that's great that's right you're a crazy baseball fan I am a crazy sports fan in general yeah but baseball is special baseball especially yeah because I really grew up watching it 
um, you know, and listening to Vince Scully call the Dodger games, and, and it was very exciting. And um, the clothing line, you know, it's it's been a really rewarding process. We have a, an eyeglass line coming out. Eyewear. Stuff. Yeah. Very exciting. It's all very exciting. Well, let's say your name on the uh, side or something like that. No, it, it says touch. It has a little butterfly, which is my logo, and it says touch, and it's um, coastal.com is where you can find them. Let okay. me ask you something. You have so much on your plate. Mistresses, the clothing line, you do volunteer work, and you're a mom. Your son Milo will be two years old this summer. How do you balance it all? It's hard. It's certainly hard. And I think the hardest thing is balancing the career with motherhood because I know that, like, we're supposed, as moms and, 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 and women, modern women, we're supposed to want it all. But I, I really think um, it goes against every instinct we have to leave our child to go to work. So, I mean, my baby this morning just wanted me to get in bed with him and, and watch cartoons. And I was, you know, I had curlers in my hair. And I was like, you know, I'd go over and kiss his little neck and then go back to the hair and makeup chair. It's definitely a hard balance. Mm. But, um, you know, I'm hoping to work for the next 10 years and then retire so I can, you know, bake cupcakes and do those mom things that mm. are really important. Aww. Not bad, not bad. All right, as we wrap things up, can we look at the uh, Who's the Boss video one more time, some of the <laughs> footage that we have? And I am curious, and forgive me, I think it's okay to ask, it's like now 25 years later. I, re I remember reading once that Gary Coleman made $30,000 an episode when he was on, um, uh, what the Different not, Strokes. Different Strokes, strokes of right. course, with Conrad Bain and, you know, Mr. Drummond. So, how much were you making per episode? My parents never told me. They put everything away from me. And when I was uh, 18, I, I got all of that money and, and invested it in it properly. But I never knew. Like, I literally thought that I was making enough money to buy bar Barbie dolls. Like, <laughs> that was what was important to yeah. me, 11 years old. <laughs> you had a great family. They were, uh, Gary, yeah. poor Gary. They were stealing from him, apparently. Uh, yeah, Gary alleged. I think that that happens, that happens a lot. But do you still keep in touch with the cast from that show? I do, yes. Yes, I love them dearly. I mean, I worked with them for basically my entire childhood. I was 11 to 19, so definitely, Wow. yeah, they were, they were lovely to me. I was very blessed. Yeah. It's great well, so to were see we, you. watching it, yes. seriously. Oh, thank it was, you. It was, it was, very it was, sweet. Thank it was good you. quality TV. We all enjoyed it. Family television. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, Much there's... like mistresses. Exactly. Right. Yeah, right. No, no, you've gone hardcore. No, not, not no. hardcore. No, no, no. Uh, Alyssa Milano, you can see her Monday nights at 10. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. So much. Great thank meeting you. you. Nice meeting you, too.